So in this video, we are going to prove that a minus b squared plus 4ab is always positive. Just make sure you understand that a minus b squared means you're multiplying it by itself. So something squared means we're multiplying itself. So it's a minus b times a minus b plus the 4ab. Multiplying out the two brackets, it's first term by second bracket, and then second term by second bracket. Then don't forget to put back in your 4ab. Multiplying in the two brackets now, a by a is a squared, and a by minus b is minus ab. Then I'm coming on to the second bracket, minus b by a. Well, that's the same, that's minus ab. And then multiplying in the minus b by minus b, minus by minus is a plus b squared plus 4ab. Then we are just going to tidy it up a wee bit here. I'm going to group the minus ab and the minus ab together, and that's going to make a squared minus 2ab plus b squared plus 4ab. Next step now is I'm going to put the minus 2ab and the positive 4ab together. So minus 2 plus 4 is making positive 2ab. So a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now again, the question here wants us to show that this is always positive. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up this 2ab. So I'm going to rewrite the 2ab as 1ab plus 1ab. So I'm going to go a squared and I'm going to call the 2ab plus 1ab plus 1ab, because if I add 1ab plus 1ab, I get back to the 2ab, but plus the b squared. And I'll show you the reason for that now is that if I break these up, I'm factorizing by group now. So if I take the first two, take something out that's common, I can take out an a, so it's a times a plus 1b, or just b. Then I come to the second last two terms here, I'm going to factorize out b. So that's going to leave me with b times 1a, or just a, plus b. And you can see now that I'm coming down to having the same factors. So I'm going to put these back together. So I'm grouping the ones outside the brackets here, a plus b. So that's giving me a plus b times a plus b. And something multiplied by itself, I can rewrite it as itself squared. So a plus b squared. And we're finished now because the question wanted us to show why this is always positive. Well, think about it like this. Anytime you square something, it's always going to give you a positive answer. So it doesn't matter if what's inside the bracket is a negative. It's always going to give you a positive solution. So that's it proved.